It is now time for everyone's new favorite show. It's Let's Get Retorted. All right. So this is Let's Get Retorted. This is where myself, Matt Lavelle, is accompanied by Strong Stem Steve Cabot, Lashmize, Liam Reese, and the bad boy Ben Wapudkase, Burn Podcasty. We are going to read the comments that are left on our social media and YouTube. Uh, we got a bunch of stuff to talk about. I'll tell you. People be talking about this, and it's been getting pretty good. I'm just saying. We have some returning uh, people. We have some new people, but either way, it's going to be fun. Uh, I'm going to start off with uh, a recent comment that we got seven hours ago. It is from Joe S8016. Joe S8016 has no videos and no subscribers, and he left. <laughs> new to he, the game. He Yep, new to the game. He left a comment. On our, it was the fake pizza is a drug super lab short form four minute video, right? He left a comment on there that said, this poor guy who just wanted the pizza gets Snoop Dogg specials delivered. <laughs> and then crying face, crying face, crying face emoji. Hey, hey, I, hey. And I just the said, it's going to taste way it? better. The pizza is oh. going to taste way better. He's going to be hungry. <laughs> yeah, I'll that's eat Domino sure. slop after the Snoop Dogg. No, oh, baby, baby, big time. I'm a big <laughs> fan, you know. Dude, hey, everybody love, everybody love. Hey, I'm not. I, I'm a firm believer that Domino's is one of those pizzas that tastes better cold. Agreed. I might Hard be wrong. Agree. I mean, Hard and agree. I'm also listen. I'm gonna be honest. I'm a believer that hot or cold, it tastes like doo doo. I right. agree with that. Also agree. Right, right, also right. agree. I'm not saying it's, it's better cold. Great. Uh, yes, agreed. I'm not saying it's great by any means, but I'm saying it is better cold. Yeah, it's bad pizza, but it's it's slightly better cold. Correct. You know, my old man used to say sex was like pizza. When it's good, it's good. But when it's bad, it's still pretty good. I and I could not agree more with that great man of him. <laughs> I could not. Th- I love him more now. <laughs> He's not wrong. I mean, it's still pizza, you know. What a legend. Shout out, right. Mr. Lavelle. Shout out. Fan of the show, listen to the show. All right, let's keep it moving then. So we have one of our first comments from last week's Let's Get Retorted episode, episode eight. Uh, this comes from our friend Sweet Dreams Tennessee herself, good old Sherry Cola. Hello, hello. Sherry up, Cola, Sherry? our old friend. Sherry Cola has, still has no videos, but 10 subscribers. Do I need a no. do I need a tissue for this? Is she going to make me cry again? Oh, uh, no, I think she'll make you happy. And then no, I, I just, I see this, and I, I'm surprised I never saw this earlier. Uh, but when you when you have a channel, you can put, like, a description of the channel or a saying or whatever. Like, ours says, like, you know, our show is we talk about stuff and people laugh and blah, blah, blah. But her saying that she has on her YouTube channel, it just says, never shit a shitter. Oh, good okay. advice. Good yeah, advice. Good advice. Solid, solid. Solid. All right. Nice. Okay. So our girl, Sherry Cola, this one, it's only a one paragrapher. So a little short on what she's used to. But Sherry Cola says, she says, okay, right. So I'm either thick as pig shit or the background made Liam's head look bald in the last episode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, dude. I didn't mean to call you bald because I can't quite clearly see you have hair in this episode. All right. She said, I can't quite clearly see you have hair in this okay. episode. Okay. Some and clarity. She just said, and then she goes on to say, let's just blame the faux pas on me being sleep deprived when I messaged on here last. Okay. Fair enough. She said, yeah. also, nothing wrong with the bald dude. Just saying. Just saying. Right? Nothing wrong with the bald dude. Just saying. And then she also said, and you are sweet, Steve! Exclamation point. Mm. And yeah, I'm also not married, so I don't know where that came from, LOL. And Brian... <laughs> Yeah, Brian. Yo, what up, Brian? I think I think it was a typo because she said she said burn. Do you before. know how many times in my life that <laughs> I've so, been Brian? I can tell by your face it's happened before. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's not the first. Not Sherry. Not the first time. Won't be last. Don't sweat yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. So she said, and Brian, I could have sworn your background was green. <laughs> Again, he I'm sorry, I swear, I was paying attention last episode, but I got heads and backgrounds confused. Apology. Also, to be fair, compared to the stock of Aussie guys here, the four of you are cute dudes. 
with rad personalities, which is more than I can, this is more than can be said for some of the shit bags over here. Ha ha. And then she goes on to say, right, I'm off to bed as I'm knackered and it's freezing here at the moment. Take care, fellas. All right. I, so. I did. I did have a green background during the Celtics. Oh. Playoff run, uh, which is only true. like five or six weeks or so. It gets cold in Australia. I don't know how it works over there, but I thought it was more of a tropical climate. It gets cold in Australia. Well, isn't it? Isn't it? Is it? They're on the opposite side of the world, so isn't it winter time there? But they're they're closer to the uh the you know the center of the earth. But they also they only populate I mean, the shores you know. because everything inside of the country kills you. Right. Right. Also, I know. also, uh, but, what's cold? Like I know people who live yeah. in California who it's like fifty five yeah. out, and they're like, it was freezing this weekend. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. So true. Was, true. Yeah. She in New South, and she's freezing. Yeah. In New South Wales right now, it's 47 degrees. Whoa. Yeah, baby. yeah that's, a, that's a warm day in the winter for us. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. A, beautiful, that's a beautiful winter. Yeah. Day. A, a low of 38. So it, right. it, it gets cold enough there. Yeah. It gets, gets chilly. Okay. You call that around here sweatshirt weather. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. So now we got some more stuff. So we had a short that, Steve, that we did of Steve. It was the uh, tiger shark attack on surfer short. Right, that did really well. Got like around uh, just under fifteen hundred. So it says uh, the first one is from Brenda Khalif six five nine eight. Brenda Khalif six five nine eight. Uh, no videos, no subscribers. Big surprise. Uh, she says, "Did anyone try to save him?" Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. And I said, "Nope." The closest person to him was his girlfriend, and she had started to swim in and was too far away to do anything which she couldn't have done anything anyway i was gonna say what do you mean <laughs> yeah and then Ow. and then someone else uh responded to that john Ware 6272 said the closest boat was 50 feet away so mm. this guy uh john Ware also commented on this video previously saying that he so john Ware uh it has doo -doo -doo. oh one subscriber, no videos. John Ware, shout out. Uh, John Ware says, saw the video. He was yelling for his father to save him. His entire family was there. Terribly sad. Which, bro. Agreed. Yeah. This just keeps getting worse. Like, we found yeah. out it was his legs instead of his arms last yeah. week. And now we found out his whole family was there and he was screaming yeah. for his dad. Like, this this story is getting, it was horrible when I first heard it. And it's getting worse every week. <laughs> yeah, no, you ain't kidding. It does keep And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. When people say someone should have do done something, try walking into a bar in Thailand mm. in a village and mm. figuring out what's going on. When you don't speak the language, you don't know the culture, you have no idea what's going on. And what are you going to do? Order a drink? Like you're in his territory. What are you? He's not on the beach yet. On the beach, now we can talk tough. Mm. Out in the water? What are you gonna do? Mm, mm, yeah. mm. I wonder what a, jump I wonder in, what a, buddy. Jump in. I wonder what a shotgun would do to a sh shark. Can you like fire it underwater? <laughs> I mean, remember it loses ballistics once it hits water, so yeah. it might just be like a small BB gun and just piss them off more. Now he's just gonna really shred that. Oh guy. yeah, you're right. At forensics, that's how they like stop. You ever try to punch underwater? underwater? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you had uh, like a sawed off, maybe if you actually got the barrel onto the skin of the yeah point blank like you might yeah. be able to make some some moves there but still it's going to be way less than it Ooh. would be out of water i think Ooh. the only move to do is if i had like a like a dope cigarette boat is to just try to hit him with the props as i floor it and like you know how they run over dolphins backs on accident mm -hmm. i just need to try to jump him like he's you know how did they get jaw they didn't get him in the in the in the movie they caught him in a creek well not uh. a creek a small river but he was a uh, bull okay. shark, a little different, not out in the sea where it's, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, all right, good stuff. Let's keep moving. A couple more comments. So, this comment was on the uh, fake pizza shop is a drug super lab video. It is from The Blocks Dev. So, The Blocks, which is spelled B-L-O-X, Dev, D-E-V. So, The Blocks Dev has 883 subscribers and 17 mm. videos. Oh. His ta his tag says I'm a game designer, right? And his comment said I thought this was about to be a cool story, <laughs> like some Breaking Bad stuff. <laughs> All they did was extract concentrates that can be done anywhere, dude. Well, I don't know if you know 
dude, but Breaking Bad is a show, and in real life, everything's not that cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I said to, I responded by saying, sorry to disappoint, and thank you for listening. Uh, and I just said, just thought it was unusual for this to be in a fake pizza shop, have a massive drug lab, and a heroin freaking, uh, you know, vending machine. So, yeah. and hey, sorry, hey, it's hey, not cool. Hey, 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 unless you designed Madden, I'm pretty sure you're in your mom's basement still coming up with ideas trying to get a video game to hit because nobody's yeah. playing your. I'm sorry, are you on Zelda? Did you make Call of Duty? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Game the designer. Blocks dev. Get out of here. Yeah. So there you go, the Blocks dev. But uh, hey, if you want to be on the show, uh, yeah, just uh, contact us on Instagram or Twitter or email us at Working Perspective. And if you did design a cool game, I apologize. Yeah, just let us know if you want to be on the show, and we can talk about what. You what if he's like Halo? My father invented <laughs> Halo. Yeah. And, and I take it there. all back. I take and I've been programming. Back. I was programming since I was 11. Like, yeah. yeah. So, okay. We got a couple more before we get to some heat. Um, so this comment is on the janitor suit for destroying 30 years of research video. Oh. Uh, we all remember that one. That was from last week. Brutal. Uh, it is from... All right. Uh, God, how do I... All right. So... It is from Piranha Plant. Piranha <laughs> Plant. So P A R A N A. Piranha Plant. Shit on me. Uh, I was gonna yep. say. I was right, right away. I started laughing. I'm like, he means piranha. Yo, come on, man. Yes. <laughs> Solid. It's late, Matt. Hey, for everyone listening, it's late, and Matt wakes up before I take a piss in the middle of the night. If that makes any sense, yeah. I yeah. wake up later just to take a whiz and lay back down. He's already up. Yeah. Uh yeah. Well, thanks, Steve. It's uh, killing him. It's literally <laughs> killing him. Anyway, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh so the piranha plant has six subscribers and eleven videos. Okay, okay. Yeah, All right. chopping some wood. Yep. And the piranha plant says that janitor was probably paid minimum wage, so like seven fifty an hour. Yep. Yeah. So he was just annoyed. Yeah. Yeah. And I responded by saying, probably uh, this janitor is not entirely at fault. Uh, it was a whole system breakdown. So it was everyone was at fault because everyone dropped the ball in this. I agree. Yeah, but you can't, Don't you know, put, listen, priceless, it, priceless material. You're putting yes. seven fifteen an hour. Like, come on. You're asking for it. That's like me. That's like me trying to really? have one of the people from Meth Island build my house and then complain when like the floor broke. What do you expect? Right. Like, right. what are you talking about? You can't blame right. it on the low level guy. Correct a mundo, my man. Correct a mundo. Alrighty. So let's move on to everyone's favorite commenter. It is Michael That Ochre. Uh, two subscribers in one video. I will say this me and him have talked on Instagram uh, after this comment. So here's what we got. Okay. He says, Respect to the guy with the headphones. Sorry, didn't know the name, don't know the names yet uh, because just started watching, but. Offering to pay for my hotel is a class move, and you've been pretty respectful this entire time, even when I haven't. Shout out to the dumb <laughs> shit who just couldn't help himself and did exactly what I said and dogged on my funds. I believe I that didn't was do that. Guy. I was going to say, I didn't do that. Uh, I said it because that was the reason I couldn't hop on a plane and prove it then and there. Did I not dumb it down enough for you or something? Question mark. No, I got it. I got it. For the guy saying... <laughs> For the guy saying it won't happen, that's you, Liam. For the guy saying it won't happen, you'll be surprised. I'll keep whoever I end up messaging on Insta posted with some messages every three to four weeks to let you know it's still happening. And maybe the occasional comment on your videos, not going to be a dick or anything, just mean to support and shit. Okay, thank you. Respect. All right. And Respect. And as for my stats, since somebody asked, uh, I believe that was you, Liam. He says, I'm six feet tall, 200 pounds with a 76 inch reach. I can fight <laughs> at whatever weight class you want as low as 155 pounds. In parentheses, he puts, I look like a skeleton when I drop that much. So doubt I could go lower without health issues. And then he also says, I can bulk up if I need to. Either way, I'm here and I'm about it. Win or lose, there's always something to be gained from a good scrap. One last thing, you're still not pronouncing my last, you're still pronouncing <laughs> my last name wrong. Sorry, I must have been pronunciation thing wrong. It said like that occur, that that occurred, that occur. Oh boy, just faster. So Michael, that occur. 
Michael Vatiker. I believe that's right. Okay. Nice to meet you. So nice to meet you, Mike. Uh, as far as a uh, weight cut goes, that won't be happening. <laughs> we are going to fight at whatever the hell I weigh because I'm not cutting weight ever again. Uh, and yeah, so we're, you know, comparable in size. I'm like between 230 and 240. So, you know. You know, have, the only difference is you're five nine and he's six foot. I'm five eleven and everyone knows I'm five <laughs> eleven. I'm five eleven and I'm. Man, he's, oh, we listen, stood, we stood, we stood back to that. Reach. Listen, Wait, I'm going to be towered over you. That's not what happened. That's, at all. <laughs> that's not what happened at all. You, now, I listen. was, I was wearing dress shoes which are notably thin. We took our shoes wearing... off. Damn it. Did, did we? He yeah, did. we took our shoes off. Well, well, I think he was. I think he was a bump taller than you. But uh, no, he, no, uh, Matt, I slouch, so I stood up, like I put my tall. shoulders back. Yeah, yeah, and then they checked. But hey, we can do this next time we have a live show. We'll do it on the camera, and somebody on can film. sit there. Somebody can sit there with a yardstick and everything. We can both stand in the same spot, and we'll see where the dots are. I mean, right. we should get all our stats out there just so that people know. You know what I mean? Let's get everybody's height, weight, reach, you know, uh, mm-hmm. flexibility, uh, three cone, 40 time, high jump. Mm-hmm. Dick size. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so okay. I do. Oh, yeah. I do want to read this. Uh, this hold on, hold on, hold on. Before, hold on. Before we go past this, let me say this to this guy because yeah. I said some hurtful things. I got skipped on the last one. Matt threw me off because I talked too much. So uh, just to let you know, I'm absolutely going to put my nuts on your chin. But oh. any person I've, you know, I'm I'm deep as gay as it, balls deep into this game. Any person that's willing to scrap has all my respect in the world. Any person that trains, I, you know, all the respect in the world. I'm going to hold. There's only steers and queers in Texas. And you don't look like no steer. And I would like to say respectfully, I will probably not say that occurred. I'll probably still continue to say that ochre every time it comes up. Call him two stroker. Uh, and, oh my gosh. And, and I will say respectably that I know I'm not fighting anyone because I don't even live around these guys. Uh, and I know that taking a shot at your financial situation was the absolute bottom of the barrel, easy to pick fruit. Am I proud of it? Yeah. 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 You. <laughs> yeah me too. Yeah. Yeah. And I support uh, him. All right. So first Moving on. <laughs> first response to this, first response to this was from our our good pal. The the we'll, we'll just call her uh, the show's uh, cousin. Mother. She's Mother. Lady Guadalupe. She's, she's Lady Guadalupe. She's way, Lady Guadalupe of the show. Uh, it is the Vermont mom comes to back for the boys. Says the dude with the black hair and headphones is Matt. The dude with the blondish hair and headphones is Liam. The dude with the hat is Steve. And the dude with the super blue eyes and blue background is Burn slash Bernie. I'm so looking forward to watching this. Don't let us down. Smiley face emoji, smiley face emoji. And she Shout didn't call you mom. Brian. She's the best. She's yeah. the best. All over it. She's the best. I'm a, I'm a little I don't depressed. know where Bernie came in, but... Yeah, you know. I'm a little, and I'm also a little depressed. You didn't call it the kitty cat hat, but whatever. Right, right, right. right. Uh, then I responded to this, just said, thank you for listening, Jason. And then I followed by saying, just in case anyone is following along, yes, we have communicated on Instagram, and the plan is to stay in contact until the right funds are appropriated, and then we can set up a date and time. So stay and, tuned. And then my nuts hit your chin, young bull. That could Respectfully. Happen also. Re- that could Respectfully. Happen also. You know. No homo. Right, right. No, of course. Did- hey. Did of he, course, did he give his no age? homo. <laughs> of course, no homo. Do we know his age? Uh, uh, way too young for me to put my nuts you know, on his chin. He didn't say an age. Uh, so, Michael, that occur. Uh, yeah, just let us know your age, I guess. That's the only just thing we're curious. missing. curious. Yeah, that's the only yeah. thing we're missing. Uh, what if he's like 83? I no, see if, if the picture on Instagram <laughs> is a picture of him. Then, uh, I mean, he doesn't look, he looks like, you know, maybe 30 at the most. I don't yeah. know, like can, I ask, can I ask, can I ask you a serious question? Yeah. What's his mom look like? Uh, did not <laughs> see on the, Instagram. I'm just wondering, you know what I mean? Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. I didn't mean also, to Also, this is, so <laughs> he did say in that comment that he's going to, uh, start commenting being, you know, being more supportive and not being oh, I... deme- dem- demeaning. Uh, he did, he did this. When the uh, on the short form video, Florida woman uses baby raccoon to hide meth. Mm. He uh, resp- he put a comment and then saying raccoon raccoon meth pipe story question mark. Now these <laughs> are the stories I can get up in the morning for. 
Smiley face. Guys. Amen. Amen. Yep. Rarely do I agree with a comment more than I agree with that one. Amen. Yes. How about and again, I, I say some terrible stuff, but like I said, Matt, you know this more than anybody. I respect anyone that trains, anyone that does anything like that, that has the the cojones to, you know, scrap the it out. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if, if you got if you got a big respect to Spindel, you'll fight. And Steve respects you so much that he'll try to have sex with your mom. <laughs> and I think that's what's important to remember. Sure, sure, sure. I'll do respect. I'll do respect. But all in right. the most respectful way. <laughs> okay. So, all right, guys. Well, this has been another episode of Let's Get with Torter. Uh, uh, I mean, did I cut out there or did I stay in? A little bit. I don't know. I thought it froze. I'll yeah. be honest. You uh, lost like a quarter second, man. It was all, it was just a little bit at that very that very beginning of the vibrato we lost for a second. I'll be honest, how, how it was okay it was though. It was okay. It was okay. Yeah, it was pretty okay. good. It was yeah, okay. It was, it was pretty good. I'll take it. All right. Well, this yeah. has been another episode of Let's Get Retorted. Uh to everyone Happy that birthday, commented. America. Happy birthday, America. Everyone that commented, thank you so much. Uh I'll tell you, I really do enjoy doing this is fun. This is like as far as like interacting with the people that are involved on the platform, this has been a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, we've been talking to people and hopefully we're going to start getting some of the people that have been commenting on the, on this, on. on the show, which will be a lot of fun. I really like that fact of like, you know, the one thing that I think everyone hates or kind of maybe fears is like the keyboard tough guy or whatever, you know what I mean? Or like the, the keyboard warrior that, that, that can comment anonymously, anonymously without, having to reveal who they are and stuff like that. So, right, right. The, you know, to get someone on here to back up what they wrote and talk about it and, you know, have the balls to do that. That's what I look forward to. Uh, we've had the Vermont mom on and she was a b- absolute blast. We have her book to be Home on the Tuesday show as well. So hopefully we can get some more people on here and like Mike, a- Mike Aiki, Mike Aiki would love to get you on the show. Oh. Sherry. Cole. What's the oh. Japanese broad's name? Lorraine, Lorona, L- Lenora J. Lenora yep. J. Lenora J was awesome. She was great. Uh, but yeah, but no, shout out to everyone that's been on and and uh, you know, you've just been a lot of fun and thank you for commenting. That being said, this has been another episode of Let's Get Retarded, a part of the Working Perspectives podcast. Go ahead, Steve. I just forgot this and I have to make sure I put it in there. Not only happy birthday, America, but happy birthday from the nutsack I came to came from my father, who's also oh. born on the fourth of July. Oh, oh. Shout when I was out, a kid, when I was a kid, he's such a dickhead, just like me. When I was a kid, he sat me down and showed me fireworks shows and said, you know, what all these four, I didn't, I wasn't in first, second grade yet. I didn't know about the American revolution. He said, these are all for me. And I believed them. So when they brought that out in like second grade, <laughs> I was the maddest student. I went home and I, I didn't do a goddamn thing, but I, in my mind, I was going to tell yeah. him right. that you just, oh. that's a lie. Uh, Steve, I could see you torturing your second grade teacher, being like, "I was no, so no, that's not no, true." No, no. I was so wrong. mad. I was so mad. You don't even know oh, my dad. It's from I... my dad. Tell my dad told me you're wrong, Mrs. Vladimir or whatever your name is. Yeah, I was so mad. What I a, gotta what a say move though, by him. What a move. I gotta say though, as a dad, if like in given the same opportunity, oh. I would do the exact same. Oh, oh, I did not yeah. miss. Yeah. I did not miss oh, yeah. the swing. Yeah. Every yeah. time. Every time. Yeah. And he didn't do it to my older brother because he would have researched it right away. Instead, me, yeah. he was like, I could probably get it over on the youngest one. Let right. me mm-hmm. at least slide this by the younger one. Right, right, right. Yeah. I can't wait to figure out which one of my kids is the dumbest. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like, That's, don't <laughs> say that after I just disproved <laughs> I'm the dumbest. I'm just saying. Don't one of them say that, be, Burn. I'm just saying one of them is going to be uh, slightly dumb. Even if they're both geniuses, one of them is going to be a little bit dumb yeah, than the other one. Yeah. And, and you know which one it is in this family? You know which one it is? I know which one your dad thinks it is, but I don't know which one it actually is. You got a you got a fifty fifty on being the uh, dumbest. I had a twenty five percent, and I'm still the dumbest. You know, it's just yeah. it is what it is. But uh, yeah, no, uh, my Shout daughter out. is already smarter than me. So I know, yeah, my nieces yeah. are like, you're an idiot. I'm like, well, you all right, all right. Yeah, well, can I? How long can you play it off for? You know, yeah, Nothing. yeah, yeah. As long as you think. Nope. They're like, what? Seven times seven? I'm like, 150. They're like, what? I'm like, I, I don't do seven. I, I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> well, is seven even around anymore? I just, I just rounded something else and estimate. You'll you figure never, that out as you get You didn't go to CCD, the seven deadly sins. This is don't use that number. Yeah. So 
All right. Well, this has been Let's Get Retorted. Uh, thanks for hanging in and listening. And uh, yeah, we'll see you uh, next time on Let's Get Retorted. All right. Thanks. See you. Bye.